My name is Wilfried Selting. I'm the managing director of uh, BIN the Netherlands. And today we are at the ENA Fair in Utrecht. Uh, Binder has a stand 7B072. Um, yeah, we are hosting uh, our products on this fair. And today I am with my colleague from Germany, Goran. Yes, my name is Goran. Um, I'm uh, responsible for the head of customer service. First of all, welcome on the a a exhibition in the Netherlands. So uh, Binder, Binder is a manufacturer of circular round connectors, only circular round connectors with different kind of uh, locking systems. Um, uh, we are a company, uh, German company, with the headquarter in uh, Neckarsum, and we have got in total approximately 2,000 employees, at our headquarter we're working uh, approximately 1,000 employees. Uh, we have got nine sales organizations worldwide. It means in uh, strategic important countries like Netherlands, like Sweden, UK, USA, China, and, well, and other countries as well. We have got own sales organizations, and Wilfried is a part of that sales organization team. So um, we have got over 10,000 uh, parts in our product range, in our portfolio, and these parts are divided in different kind of uh, series. We have got connectors in different kind of sizes, Sizes for the sub-miniature connectors, sizes for miniature connectors, sizes for power connectors as well. And the name is saying it. Power connectors are for high power applications, for high, high power transfers. And the sub-miniature and miniature connectors are almost used as data communication. The sub-miniature sub connectors are the smallest one, which have a size of approximately 40 millimeter out of diameter. And because of the size, they are very limited of the poles, the maximum with eight poles. And the miniature connectors, I say always, is the big brother of the sub-miniature connectors. It's up to 24 poles, and uh, the size is bigger, like 80 millimeters. The most interesting range are the automation connectors for the automation technology. We have got uh, four uh, main sizes. One is the M5, the M8, the M12, and the seven eight inch connectors for the automation industry. But it turned out that the M12 connector is getting more and more as an all-rounder for the market for the automation industry. It started as normal sensor connectors in the 1980s years for sensor applications. Now the M12 is moving to two directions. One of them is a data communication. That's why we have got different kinds of coding systems like decoding, like X coding, for example. In the other one is the power supply, the power applications, why we offer different kind of coding systems like TNS coding, KNL coding system, only for the power supply. That means um, we have got here a little overview about um, it's a round table of different kind of connectors where you can see here very small sizes like a sub miniature connectors, then for miniature connectors as I said, the big brother, or connectors for the power applications. Also, medicine connectors are part of our product range, and, but as I said, the automation technique begins with the M8, M5, M12 connectors is the most biggest range which you have our portfolio. Mr. Goran, you showed us uh, before that about the medical connectors. Yes. There is uh, something special about them. Yes. The CCN? It's called NCC. Oh, NCC, NCC sorry. stands for not connected closed. If you now compare these two connectors together, you see the one have got open contacts. That means you need a protection cap to avoid the dust, water, dirt comes inside the connector. This connector is called NCC, not connected closed. So that means this connector is in unmated status, IP67 tight. IP67 means 30 minutes, one, more, one meter water depth, very tight. So if you take the opposite part by pushing the two pieces together, this piece, it has a spring inside, goes inside, you see it maybe on the video, and then it's open the connector and you can easily connect these two parts together with a bayonet locking system. If you disconnect, you've got again the cap comes out and got the IP protection of IP67. What about the material of this? Because probably for medical uses it's a little bit different. No, it's the same material it's using. It's almost PA material, plastic material. But I only want to um, say that the same system as we have for the miniature connectors, NCC, 
We have also for the sub manager connectors, there's also a small, smaller series which have the same system of uh, IP67 protection in iMATIS status. That means all the locking systems which you have, we have got snap-in locking systems, we have got push-pull locking systems, we have locking systems like uh, um, bayonet or screwing, we have in different kind of sizes for different kind of applications. This is, uh, for example, if you see this uh, easy locking system, it's only called snap-in. So it's snap-in together and you can open it. But sometimes accident happens, then somebody open it by, by accident and they have got no connection. And this one is some kind of protection which you mount then between those two parts. That means this additional uh, cap which avoids dismating if it's not bewilderment. These are, for example, the coding systems, the K coding. You see, we have the K coding up to 16 amps, which you can use if comparing to our standard M12, which is only for, uh, let me see here, for 4 amps application. So it means to avoid that the M12 K coding can't be matched with a standard M12 A coding or decoding, we have got a different kind of uh, coding systems like here for power application or the same application for data communication, you see here the X coding M12 connectors. M16 connectors, we have got a version with 24 pins, which is the binder, the only supplier, the manufacturer of M16 24 pin connectors uh, on the world. The, then it goes smaller. If you see the limit for the M8 size, the M8 was made previously as a three and a four pin connector. In the meantime, we have got M8 with maximum 12 pin inside. So this is also the binder, the leader of that. We founded this connector. This connector was then um, uh, like made, not like a patent, but it gets to a norm. That means other um, competitors who are producing this size of connectors have to produce according this norm, this pin arrangements. So you are deciding what are the no norms? In that case, we decided with the M8 12 pins, what are the norms? Mm -hmm. 20 years ago, when I started at Binder, we made a very interesting connector. It's called M5. M5 means M5 millimeter fixing thread. We have got a contact which has a connector, which, which has got four pins. Every pin can have one amp um, uh, uh, rated current. And uh, we are the only manufacturer who started 20 years ago by developing this kind of connector for this application. In the meantime, we enlarged the portfolio. We going up with the, started with 0.14 square millimeter wire gauge. Now we have got up to 0.25 square millimeters and we have got versions with shielded and unshielded connectors in the portfolio. Thank you, Goran, uh, for this lovely interview. Mm -hmm.